Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matoklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel in computing the correlation coefficient of two variables. Here's our example. A local Sari Sari store keeps track of how many ice candies they sell versus the temperature on that day. Here are their figures for the last 12 days. So here, the temperature is the independent variable independent variable while the number of ice candy sold is the dependent variable because the number of candies may depend on the temperature on that day so our problem is to identify if there is a correlation between the recorded temperature and the number of ice candies sold to compute for the correlation coefficient we have two ways so the first thing that we can do is use the formula equal sign, then type Pearson, open parenthesis. So the first array here is for the temperature. So from 31.2 to 26.5. And the second array is for the dependent variable, which is the number of ice candies sold. So close this one. And we have the Pearson value of 0 0.95. Now, since 0 0.95 is between 0 0.8 and 1, there is a very strong positive correlation between the temperature and the number of ice candies sold. The other way to find R in Microsoft Excel is by the use of the data analysis in the data ribbon. So if you have a data analysis installed in your Microsoft Excel, you can just select this one and then go to correlation, select OK. And here, um, we could choose the input range, including the labels. So the advantage of using this data analysis is that we can actually put the labels that we included in the analysis. So you just make sure that you will select labels in first row. And then since our data are arranged in columns, we will select columns. Now for the output range, how about we put the output here so that we could compare our results. Select OK. And here you can see the correlation matrix that if we're going to find the correlation between the temperature and number of ice candy sold, it's the same as before. It's 0 0.95. Um, you can just ignore this cells because the correlation one here um, is correlating the same variable. So of course, we would have one here and same as with this one. Now let's have another example. A researcher wishes to see whether there is a relationship between number of hours of study and the test scores on an exam. So she must select a random sample of students, determine the hours each studied, and obtain their grades on the exam. The data are shown below. So in the first column, the respondents are shown. And for each respondent, we have their uh, information about their hours of study. So student A studied for six hours and he or she got a grade of 82. Student F studied for three hours and he got a grade of 75 on the exam. Now, is the number of hours study correlated with the grades in the exam? We can measure the degree of correlation using the Pearson R. So the R value is equal sign then we have Pearson, open parenthesis, select the array. So here you cannot select the label, okay? So you just need to select the uh, values or the range for the specific values. Comma, and then we have from 82 to 86. Close parenthesis, and we have a correlation coefficient of 0 0.94. Now, by using the data analysis in the data ribbon, we will select correlation and this time it's the number of our study versus the grade in percent columns labels in first row and i need to select a specific space for the output here in the same sheet 
select OK and we'll have this values so it's clear that we have the same value for the two methods it's 0 0.94 now since 0 0.94 is between 0 0.8 and 1 then there is a strong positive correlation between the numbers of our st of study and the grade in percent on a exam which of course is just based on our data set but guys just because two variables are related it does not necessarily mean that one directly causes the other and for this we're going to need the regression analysis to confirm the relationship between these two variables which is reserved for another video and if you want more video tutorials of data analysis in Microsoft Excel, you can always check my playlist in the description down below. And please don't forget to press that like, share, and subscribe button for your updates. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.